Morning guys, how are we doing? We are on the community farm. I've just picked a contract to do. I know you can't see that. Let's go to that screen. I know you do, we don't see that. Let's get that over a little bit so you can hear me a bit better. Yep, we're on the community farm, Vintage Oaks. We're going to just far, try and find the equipment we need. While the map renders in and stuff. Uh, chose this game this morning so I can... <clears throat> Okay, there it is. Sweet. And we'll need to find a... Well, I think maybe one single truck would be able to do it. And the hops are kind of loud, guys. Uh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yeah. For some reason, my gear shifter. Um, acts like the reverse. Anyways. Um, that's that one. I don't know what I'm doing this morning, I really don't. I've just woken up, saw that minute is it on. <clears throat> Let's get on. Let's show you guys something. <laughs> and I'm kind of fucking everything up. Right. There we go. Now we're on the way. Right. Okay, so where are we going? 29. Carl, hello, hello, you Right. That's how I like to look at shit. 22. Is it 22 I picked? No, it was 19, wasn't it? No, it can't be 19, 18. Why are you not flashy? It was 29. Thanks, I'm trying to look at shit and you've been dancing. Anyway, come out of the... I think we come out from this side. Take a right, go up to the end, take a left, left again. Uh, maybe we can get him from this side, I don't know. I'm hoping we can get him from that side anyway. So, right, left, left. A right, two lefts. We still need to take a truck down there as well, so I would I'm going to estimate I only need a truck. I don't need the trailer. Um so That's what we're gonna guesstimate anyway. So, um anybody in the VTC will know that last night um when I started feeling a little bit better I went out for a little jaunt on my single player account on ETS. Um, whenever I play that account, I always drive my Scania TNT 4 Series TCAM. Why? Because I love that thing. Uh, and it looks actually absolutely a freaking maze balls. Um, I wish they'd bring it into the game, but because it's not Scania themselves that make the TCAM what it is, um, so basically, a, a, a T cab starts out as a what the Americans call a cab over, or the English, the Europeans just call it a normal based uh, lorry, and they take it to somebody. Um, I believe it's somebody in the Netherlands at the moment. Um, they make it into the T cab that we all know and love. So I was out in that. Um, for a quick drive last night just to see how the back was and stuff and yeah absolutely fucking loved it now I will show you that at one point guys because to be honest I don't have many mods in my single player account um, yeah just the pro mods um, the trailer pro mods um, the, the cab stuff 
Have I gone too far? Okay, go. Uh, the cab stuff, uh, one or two other mods to do with the VTC, and that is it. You know, so I could do a convoy on that at some point and, and just have the traffic deleted. If anybody wants to do a convoy with mods in them on ETS. Just so I can use my Scania T cab in, in a convoy again. Like I say, I kind of missed it. Now, the Scania T cab, uh, it's the um, Scania TNT 4 Series mod uh, in Mod Hub within the game. Uh, done by RJL Modding, and most of you all know that play ETS. They're pretty good guys, they, they mod really well. Right, let's see if we can find this entrance to this field. Just to make sure we got the trailer on the back. <laughs> Get all the way down here and gone. Right, let's just use this little area as a staging point, shall we? Can we just roll it around this way and make sure we can get into the field? Yeah, we can. We use this place as a staging point. Let's just get set up. So we'll dump that there. Let's open you up. I'm guessing the header don't need opening up. Let's have a look. Maybe it did because the ladder went up. Okay. Right, let's just leave you there. Turn you off. Right, we need to go back to the farm. Uh, not that farm, I don't believe. I want the top farm. Is that the top farm in that one? And get a truck. Um, where am I? Is top farm or lower farm? That's still lower farm. No, that could be the top farm. Yeah, it's top farm. It's over here. I need a truck. So guys, this is a community farm. If you're not already involved in it, exclamation farming in chat. Uh, which will get you... Oh, there's a truck. Yay! Which will get you the SOAG Discord link. Um, and all you do is join the SOAG Discord. Um, click what you want to be interested in, like farming, trucking, and all that sort of jazz. Make sure you're as honest as possible with your choices. Or oh, you can, um, you know... You can change your mind if you want later on, it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, the farming, make sure you've got farming ticked. And then when you get there, go to the farming section and just ask somebody for permissions. And either the farm manager or the farm owner will get back to you with a yes, here's the link to download mods. Because everything that we run on this farm is modded um, because we use kind of period correct stuff. Um, so everything that we use on Vintage Oaks, because it's set in, I think, about the 1990s. <clears throat> but everything that we use is uh, set for kind of the year 2000 and earlier. So we're using some 80s stuff, some 90s stuff, some 2000 stuff. Um, yeah. And I, I'm playing this today just so that I don't have to stay on the pedals all the time. Once I've done a couple of... Uh, couple of headlands with the old uh, harvester there. I can um, put VCA on and let my back rest. Which is why I wasn't on yesterday, guys. Um, my back went into spasm. I suffer with sciatica every now and again. Uh, my back went into spasm. And yeah, literally I was glad when Average was trucking that they chose some nice roads that I could just use cruise. And then in the end, uh, I get up. 
I guess my other back was like, no, you got to get up and move, or so I'm just going to freeze up on you, you bitch. Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right. You need to unfold the tool. Okay. Unfold the tool. So it was already folded for work, was it? Okay. And away we go. You gotta try. Look, yeah. uh, let's whack cruise on anyway. So guys, there's gonna be an ad in about a minute thirty. Uh, but don't panic, it's only for a minute. Uh, this is quite a small field, but it's still going to take me a good couple of hours, probably. Not sure what average is going to be playing today, because he wanted Mr. Handy to get involved, but Mr. Handy's back isn't so good today. So, I think he said he was going to be playing SnowRunner today. So I think we're going to need about three headlands, maybe, with this. Yeah, I think we're going to need about three headlands. Yeah, so average might be playing Snowrunner today. Um, which I think, maybe they're going to be playing on Mr. Handy's map. They'll bring him up a little bit further in maps, because I think Mr. Handy's still on um, Michigan. Got a fair bit done there. We might try and get involved in that because um, you guys know I ain't bad at that game. I'm not the greatest, but I'm not bad. When I say I'm not the greatest, even I had to help out help the other day to complete a map. Wow, the money soon went up on this game, on this save. Mr. H will be pleased. We used to have a load of New Holland tractors on here. Like a, like a nice amount of New Holland tractors, old ones. But they're just not powerful enough. It's a shame too. Because I like that one better. I like the interior better than the case ones we're currently using. Don't know whether it's possible to mod the engine on it. It probably is. Guys, if you're not experiencing the ad break now, thank you very much for subbing to the channel or buying Turbo. Uh, the guys that are watching the ad right now will be yeah paying me some revenue for turbo it's nothing though it's it's pence Yeah, I think three headlands, I think, is going to do this. I mean, I could speed the headlands up for what I want to do. I want to do the, this long access. So I could speed it up a little bit and do the three this side, go back up the other end, and then do two more at the top. And then I can get on with the ups and downs if I really wanted to. Morning dog, how you doing baby? Well go and have your chew. 
Go and have your chew, you've just buried it. Unless you've unburied it and ate it. Bury your bloody chew and then ask me for more treats. Get lost. Isn't it? Eat that one you've just buried. Silly sausage ears. So guys, if you've never watched me before, I am basically a simulation streamer. I stream trucking, I stream farming, uh, I stream snow runner, which basically is an off-road trucking simulator. Um, bus sim, construction sim, although for some reason my, cons my controls on construction sim at the moment are fighting me big time. And I think it's because I've got so many kind of different controls plugged in at once. So I've got my farm stick, I've got my Thrustmaster shifter, the, the shifter mod on top of that, um, obviously pedals uh, and wheel, I've got a controller plugged in, there's like five dot lots of controller plugged in. And maybe that game's going, I know I'm not doing it, I'm not, I'm not even, not even bothering, see you later, bye. Yes, yeah, so I, I can play that, us sim um, out of awe, although I'm shit out of awe. I say I'm shit, I'm not shit. If I have my control set up, kind of like I do on my single player, I can use the front loader quite well. Alright, what I think we'll do is we'll skip the rest of this lane in a second. Let's just finish off that lane a little bit here. Let's go get up the top. And what we'll do is we'll just finish off the lines at the top, then we'll go down, finish off two lanes down the bottom. And then we just do the ups and downs quite nicely then on DCA. So has anybody watched the Scruff series, guys? I'm right up to date. To be honest, I nearly cried in that last one. Um, I won't see what happened, but and yeah, I nearly cried in that last one. Um, there's been weeks and weeks of a storyline which Scruff has been playing out. And it, yeah, I'm not going to say any more than that. But yeah, it nearly, it nearly brought a tear to my eye. Because although you guys think I'm a right idiot, uh, I'm quite a, you know sensitive fellow. Now that should be enough of a headland up here to turn. VCA I think. If not I'll just go to two lanes and then it'll definitely be enough to turn. So we'll try one lane and then if that don't work we'll just do two lanes. Don't forget guys um, that um, if you're buying subs and stuff on mobiles they are about to come, well they are already more expensive uh, because of the what the what the makers of the phones are charging i.e. Android and iOS are charging extra on top um, and what they were doing is they were giving Twitch less money for it, they were taking a cut themselves so Twitch have now said if you're buying on mobile devices then you're going to have to pay, pay more if they want to take take some you're going to have to pay more so it's kind of not Apple, um, sorry it's kind of not Twitch's fault that mobile prices have gone up if you're buying subs off of, off of mobile devices uh, but yeah I, I, I see that point you know and what why they've done it 
it's it's business. You know, they saw Android and iOS saw an opportunity to make a little bit of money, and it's like Twitch have gone. Nope, you're being a twat. So yeah, the picture that I took, that's in um, Shrekking Pictures last night. Um, I just did a small trip, Plymouth to uh, Cardiff, I think it was. And I went over to Seven Bridge and I thought, yeah, this is a nice place to take a picture. I do I do like myself a, a good brick bridge, um, cin cinema, c scenic bridge. Uh, and the Seven Bridge is one of them that is scenic. I mean, the one we go over nowadays is the Prince of Wales Bridge. Uh, whereas before we used to go over the other one, which was to me coming up from Devon in IRO, um, was about well, this one's now about 20 miles shorter to get to the bridge than the older bridge. Okay, mm, where are we? We're over here, aren't we? 28, right, get the truck. I'm hoping. That the yield's not that brilliant. But I hope that the yield is good, obviously, so we can build a contract really quick. Uh, but you know what I mean. I'm hoping that I can just use this truck and only this truck. So, in a minute, guys, we're going to go down and back and then we're going to come back up. So, what we're going to do. Is once she's empty, I'm going to park her on this harvested line about three quarters of the way up. There we go. So I'm going to park you up. About that far off the bridges, I've got to know what I say. Uh, about there, that'll do. Now, you're going to say, but you did more than that to build a harvester up a second ago. And you're probably quite right. Because I, I did the headland of the build, so it might not be that full, but... If we're going by, then we're just as well... Empty ain't. It's got to be a bit of a pickle. No, I think we're alright. We could have gone in cab, but... I thought we'd do it from above. So we're going to go across, we're going to come back. We're going to turn to go back at the field, we're going to whack BCA on. And then we can concentrate on you guys. I mean, at one point, guys, when um, Twitch were talking about the fact that they were going to put the... the, the subscriptions up we, we thought they were going to put all of them up and a lot of people became agitated with that and was like we'll just find other ways to support our favorite streamers uh that twitch just won't get anything then downside to that is if twitch doesn't get anything at all bye bye twitch that's the trouble with that one but i know you guys want to support your favorite streamers rather than without twitch getting so much but Twitch, Twitch has to have something to keep going. Chris, how you doing? Good morning, lady. Oh. Alex, how you doing, bro? So, yeah. Yesterday when I went trucking with Average and that, the back was all over the place, spasming and shit. And like I said, I was just glad that we kind of, or some, they were chosen rows that didn't have that many turns in it, although that last trip had a shitload of turns. Uh, not too bad, just waking up. You, me? I woke up and looked at Twitch and saw Minute wasn't on, so I saw an opportunity to go live. Um, otherwise, I would have probably waited an hour to wake up.
Right. Let's get a bit of that on. What will detect that? Start going. Right, Spiri. Let's go. Right. Uh, what we'll also do is put Pip out. This is all done on the Icon City buttons, guys. Um, although you don't get VCA controls on Icon City. Um, you have to make them up yourself. Uh, I've made mine up myself. Uh, it's basically eight, eight, nine buttons I use uh, for VCA, uh, which I've made myself. So there's a turn right button at the end of the lane, a turn left button at the end of the lane, um, move the row across left, right and left, uh, rotate right and left, um, an on button, a, an off button, and the settings button. That's all you need for VCA, really. You don't need that much. Right, I'm going to move over in a minute, because it looks like I'm going to hit the truck, and I'm going to move back. So let's count them. So, one... No, 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 no. I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button, totally. There you go. Oh. Oh, activate. Oh, activate on that. There we go. I totally hit the wrong button. Right. Should we try this again? Right. One, two, three, four. That should miss. There we go, we've emptied. Cool. Right, so we're back. One, two, three, four. Reason why I wanted to do that, guys, is just so I missed the truck, get back on our lanes, so when we come back down, Yes, we'll miss a bit on the right hand side, but when we get to where the truck's parked, it'll get that bit that we would have missed that we would have missed or whatever. I know what I meant. And kinda of you guys know you guys know what I mean. Even though I'm rambling a bit. You guys go, you're rambling a bit. Um also, um what have I done recently? I tried my green screen um to try and save me a few processing bits, not using Nvidia Broadcast. But it didn't work, so I come back to the video broadcast screen. Uh, um, green screen. Um, what else have I done? I've also moved my mic a little bit. We get a bit, a little bit closer, a little bit higher up. Um, I've also put the inch extender on to my gear shifter, uh, or back on, shall I say? And that has um, allowed for a tighter hold uh, from the gear shifter mod to the gear shifter itself um, so it doesn't doesn't twist so easily now it's just a pain in the ass I mean literally a pain in the ass I literally I'd be driving on track and I go to change gear and the, the mod the it's it's the mod for um, split shift in high low and as you change gear because I wasn't using the whole thing it would twist in my hand and come loose So guys, I got a coffee. Um, I got my wraith on the windowsill, and we're good to good for farming for a few hours. Uh, you may recognise this harvester from um, Scruff's uh, the farm hand series. Um, this is the one that, well, depending on how far you are, are along, depending if I'm going to spoiler alert this one. Um, this is one that George has on the where they end up moving to so if you've never if you've never watched the Scruff's hand, hand series and you're interested in a kind of story but well, it's not a kind of it is a story Farm Sim 22 thing that he does which is very very good uh, over on YouTube and they start on one farm and they kind of outgrow it and they move to another farm and yeah they buy this harvester and call it Susanna. Uh, you've got a Aero Mint Mocha. 
Ooh, that sounds fucking nice. That really does sound like... Trouble is, whenever I have flavoured sort of drinks like that, I don't know whether to drink it or eat it. Especially if it's like a cold one with bits in it. You know what I mean? Because you can get these cold ones, like cold coffees with like bits in it. And I never know when there's bits in them, I never know whether to drink them or eat them. <laughs> kind of like, a, I don't know, like a McFlurry. You know, it comes with bits in it, and I, yeah, I, ne I never, I never know whether to drink it or eat it. <laughs> My mind gets confused. It's like that's a drink, but it's got bits in it, so you got to chew it. But I want to drink it. No, it's got bits in it. You got to eat it. Yeah, but it's just one of them things. It's not terribly bright outside, but, you know, it's October, so, you know, it's a little bit, it's a little bit autumnal out there. Uh, but we're, we're good for lighting. I know I'm in front of the speedo, you don't need to see it, it's six miles an hour. Go on, put me back over. That's it, there we go. It's heaven? Mm, I bet it is. Mm. Also, while I was out doing like 20 minutes of trucking last night uh, in the 4 Series TNT T cab, uh, I was looking who was online. There was a lot, a lot of people trucking on my friends list. I mean, had to be about 25, 30 people maybe trucking last night. I don't know whether you're all trucking together, but yeah, there, there, there was that many trucking. I mean, there was three or four of you. Uh, doing other things. There was uh, three people doing SnowRunner on my friends list. But yeah, a lot of people trucking last night. It's good to see that. Um, you know, people like to go out and truck and chill out and chew and stuff and have fun with their friends. Like I say, if you guys want, um, what, I, what I can do is bring out my single player, put it on convoy mode uh, one day. Uh, for you to guys see the TNT uh, 4 Series T cab, it's a very very old mod, uh, and it still it still works with 1.51. Just amazing. Uh, uh, I was trucking, but on my own and trucking now. Uh, completing your 2,000th job, fucking GGs, lady. I'm going to kiss Chris's ass a bit here for a minute, if I can, Chris. I've seen Chris drive, and she is very, very good. And it's a little bit down to her other half. Uh, I say a little bit, maybe a little bit over half, maybe. Um, teaching her the finer points of um, not just steering a truck virtually, but reversing it also and she's as good as any man in the game I can tell you that for nothing she's very very good but that being said or anybody who's now taking offense that I said a lady is very very good at reversing or you're taking offense that you're a lady and you're not very good at reversing there is something coming in 1.52 that may help you um, the school there's gonna be a driving school coming and most of the exercises are going to be reversing into spaces. And like in your spare time, it may help you to go in, do a couple of exercises, come back out, do a bit of driving and chill, go back in, do another couple of exercises. You know what I mean? Just take your time with it, it's fine. And just, just play with it and have a, listen, have a look at it. And then some of you that are, I don't know, not so good, will become good by doing so. It's, it's a good thing, I think this school and it's been a long time coming as well I mean they won't make it kind of like Gran Turismo where um, you have to pass these licenses to be able to drive your truck they're not going to make it like that uh, there, be, there would be a lot of people that would leave the game uh, so they're not going to lose a player database um, 
I'm going to try it. I tell you that, I'm going to try it. I'm going to probably live it as well. So, you know, when it when it comes out and goes live, I should probably go to the school. Uh, even if it's just in my, it's just in my single player, you know, go to, go to the school in single player and just see what you have to do. Um, I know most of it's most of it's going to be reversing, judging by the pictures that we got of the school stuff, the school pictures uh, that were put out there. So yeah, a lot of the a lot of the stuff is going to be reversing. And like I say, you just just have fun with it. You know, if you can do a couple of exercises, come out of school, which may, may be a thing, or it may just save your progress. So you can go back into school and just pick up where you left off. Um, yeah, all well and good. It's, it can only be a good thing. And then when it comes to say coming into convoys, you can bring your own trailer along and be adept in parking the bloody thing. Right, when we pass the lorry, we'll just go back, grab it and offload. That'll do, let's just do an offload. So now I've got to start the thing up, Matt. That's my feelings on the driving school with ETS, guys. What's, what's your feelings on it? You know, do you feel that it's not needed? You know, what, what, what are your feelings on it? I mean, because a lot of people are going, oh, it's not needed, you know, this and that and the other. Well, why do we need it now? Because, you know, we can drive the truck. You can get and drive the truck with just being a beginner. The thing is that they want to—they want to help people. I, I know it doesn't seem like they're gonna, not going to seem like they want to help people in the game, but they do. SCS are not idiots, you know. They know there's some of you out there that struggle doing certain things, and that they—they they want to help you with it. I mean, a lot of their ideas of what they're doing come from us. It's a lot of people. It's kind of like a lot of people shouting in a corner for stuff that they want. And then the guys at SCS go, that might be a good idea. So they, they try and put it into some type of uh, format that can be understood by the game and try it out. And if it works, then obviously they put it out there for beta testing. And then they listen to the people that beta test for them. And then it goes from there. I can't believe that, I left that so far. That's just a save, um, a saving thing. So every 15 minutes, half an hour, what, you, what you'll do is see a stutter in the graphics and it's just the game saving to the, um, the G Portal server. Yeah, so like I say, guys, we're going to be at 11, and then last time I spoke to Average, I don't know whether anything changed last night. But while we were trekking, he kind of relayed a message through Mrs. Handy to Mr. Handy. And yeah, apparently they might be snow running today. And if Mr. Handy's involved, maybe they'll be on Mr. Handy's map. As you guys know, if you've seen any of my last VODs on here, I'm now on Tennessee, which uh, we figured out was kind of an off-road rally stage kind of area map. Um, the stores need to be repaired so I can get stuff like medium planks and such out, iron bars, uh, which I haven't yet found, by the way. 
it's a little bit of a pain in the ass and yeah uh, I think we're in the middle of trying to take fuel up to the area we took a generator up to one of the stores uh, yeah once we get stuff open on that map it'll, it'll move quicker um, and as you guys know I just lately last few weeks I've been using a buddy that came into the community and he's very good at snow runner and yeah Kev if you're listening this morning you'll help just lately with uh, the maps I've kind of struggled on have, has been invaluable um, he helped me out with Umar um, the end of Umar so if you don't know guys Umar is sort of set in four different map areas and I was stuck on one of them uh, purely because um, we kind of have to travel through one map to get to the other and it takes like 15 20 minutes just to get across one that one map to get into the map you want to do uh, so by the time you get there you're, you're kind of broken or out of fuel or whatever or such and then you still have to do stuff when you get there but we've set it up so that there's a there was a fuel truck bit of repair points we needed before you actually went in and then we got shit done and he knew his way around that particular map better than I did so he kind of did the hard stuff for me I mean I went in like on my off spurts and did a few few tasks which are kind of like easy missions I say easy they're not all easy I mean there was one that he did right at the end where he, you have to rescue a vehicle and the vehicle was stranded on one side of the map and you had to take it all the way to the other side of the map and some of you go well that's kind of easy well, no, it's not, because on a snowy, icy map, there's not many roads that are safe. So you've got to invent a way to go. And that's what makes it hard. It's kind of like an off-road trucking puzzle, playing SnowRunner. Uh, also, the other day, I was involved in Chucky's No Runner. Um, she asked me to come go help her um, for her stream the other day, and we had some fun with it. Um, she's still on Michigan, but she's getting through it now uh, and enjoying herself a little bit more. Uh, Mrs. Handy um, got her the um, the Atom truck. Uh, it's a big three-slot truck, well, two or three-slot, uh, but it's a big, big, big truck. Uh, it's a good truck. Um, it's probably, I don't know, maybe the third best truck in the game, probably, the Atom. I'd say the third best truck in the game. It's probably second for attachments, but third best for actually going through everything, um, in my opinion, before anybody comes in and goes, no, it's not this person says this, this person says that. No, in my opinion, it's the third best truck, the Atom. Uh, and that's after the 605R, which is the second best, and the 612, which is a paid for mod, which I rate as the best. Um, I don't use the Colob section probably as much as I should. Uh, I really should visit the Colob section and see what they're all about, you know? I've never really driven one. So I should really go see what they're all about. I've driven most of the trucks in the game, which is why I kind of stick to my favourites now. You know, I've got the first truck I ever modded, which is the Azov 64131, um, and I rated that as the best beginner's truck in the game. If you've only just bought the game, no DOCs and such, what I advise you to do if you're, if you're in that situation and then you, you haven't got any help is that as soon as you get 90,000, um, or you sell your vehicle so you, that you don't want, so you have 90,000. You go to Russia, you go to the truck sales place, and you buy the Azov 64131 um, and get rid of the other trucks. And then just upgrade that as you go along uh, for what you want. It's a very stable, very fuel efficient truck, even with the best engine in. Uh, if you have friends on board 
um, to help you out with some stuff, what you might want to do is skip to Tamar. And there's two vehicles on that which you can have for free once you go through the map a little bit. Um, so if you're just going to do that, I think you need to do three contracts to get into the next map. Um, and then there's two trucks on there, two trucks on other maps which you kind of could have for free. One is the Tuz. Uh, it's a scout vehicle armoured car. Uh, and um, the Tega. I forget the number of the Tega, but it's not, in my opinion, it's not the best Tega, but they're free. They're, they're, you know. Matt, you're farming? Morning, Grandad. Yes, I am. <laughs> uh, Herbert74104. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Funhouse. How you doing? Morning from the UK. Uh, we are listening to a bit of simulated radio, guys. It's Otto at the moment. Um, if all is going well, I believe DJ Pat will be on at 10 o'clock with a bit of awesome 80s as it is Sunday. And then, of course, we've got the big top 30. Um, why am I talking about SnowRunner? Because I talk about all sorts of subjects while I'm doing other stuff. I mean, I've talked about SnowRunner this morning. I've talked about... Um, Euro truck this morning. I've talked about McFlurries and hot chocolates and minted aero drinks and I talk about all kinds of shit. I like to keep people trying kind of interested and hooked in a conversation. Uh, and interacting. Because if you're interacting of course you're keeping chat active. And yeah. There's nothing better than you guys keeping a chat active for a streamer. Georgie, how you doing? Oh, I've jumped back in the truck. Fucking stupid thing. Um, how can we have a conversation uh, if you're ranting a thousand words a minute? Well, you can interrupt me by typing in chat. It's very simple, you know. Kind of how it goes. You guys type in chat. I react to you, what you've said. You know, it's kind of how things work. <laughs> if I was just sat here being quiet, you guys would go, "Fucking, this is boring, isn't it?" Hmm. Thank you for contributing to that, Georgie. Oh, that, that's the thing. Um, you guys possibly ain't gonna get there for the goal. I mean, uh, for the community event goal uh, because I had that day off yesterday because of me back um, and basically what it needed contributed 4,000 in total to yeah thank you um, yeah so what was I going to say I don't think you're going to make it so um <laughs> you react to what's said that would involve you reading chat properly. I'm kind of reading it properly this morning, boss. But anyway, morning. How you doing, dude? Uh, need to jump on to my snow runner. I feel I've neglected it. Just remember, Chris, if any of us are around and are free, you know, hit some of us up. We'll come give you a hand. Same with anybody who's... Um, I don't know, kind of anywhere on SnowRunner. If you need a hand, just, you know, leave a message in the SnowRunner chat or something. Say that you're playing it, you could do with a hand. Um, is November the 12th yet? Why do you want it to be November the 12th? Why do you want it to go back in time?
Oh. But you, were you answering Georgie's question? But your your message um Yeah, your message appeared to me before Georgie's question about twenty five comes out. In that case you're absolutely right, it is the twelfth of November. It came to me first, your message saying November twelfth, yeah, at average. Came to me before Georgie's thing saying 25 coming out. Matt's brain had a fart? No, it's just the way the messages appeared to me. So you're answering a question that I hadn't seen yet. That's why I was a little bit confused about the fact you said, you know, you're on about, is, you know, November 12th yet. And I'm like, uh, what? Whatever. I know. Yeah. But it could also be true that my brain did fart. Oh, okay. You want a copy of 25? And asked how is the M is when it comes out. Uh, and he said November 12th, that's why I asked. Oh, okay. Got you now. If you're talking riddles, you, you expect shit answers. But yes, the game actually comes out November the 12th, dude. Uh, which is when I get my code as well. Um, I bought a version and they send me the code on the 12th of November. Where was the riddle? In my mind. Need to go, need to concentrate on my driving. Why, can't you keep me up in the background? Uh, we never expect a straight answer from you anyways, Matt. I give you straight answers. It's just str just straight as I see them. Uh, and still, how was uh, November going back in time? I don't know. I just explained it. Was, it's a riddle of my mind. Not enough caffeine. That's what I'm going with anyway. Maybe. Don't have to carry that on. <laughs> uh. Look, I had a senior moment. Fuck you. Look out, here it comes. Fuck you too. Thank you very much, we can eat. Mimit, how we doing dude? Kenny is right, he's actually older than me. <laughs> uh, I'm good, my mind's a bit scrambled. I mean, I think you've been lurking a little while, but I haven't shot a jag because you've been lurking and I don't do that sort of thing but I've, I've, I see you've been there anyway guys let's catch up with a few uh, housekeeping stuff while we're, we're while we're here um, talking shit and doing stuff um, so average had his uh, shouty shouty minute as his shouty shouty let's give a shout out to Kenny Normal then, and stop watching me. Well, turn around, you dickhead, and now I have to watch you. No offence, you are waffling too much for my brain this morning, so catch you later. Damn, that's harsh. And Mal Alex. Talking is what we do. 
even though there's music in behind me, talking is what we do, because in the VODs later on, if somebody comes and watches me, they won't have the music. They'll just have the machinery and me. So, you know. Love you, bye. Talking is kind of what we do to fulfill the silence for later on. So we're just fulfilling one of the contracts, guys, that we had to do today. Well, no, we didn't have to do today. That we've got to... Well, no, we ain't got to do it either. We just got them in the contracts list. I did do a little bit on my farm last night. Um, don't know why. I'm never going to reach the break the bank goal. I've neglected it quite a lot uh, to do other things lately. But we had fun last night doing a few jobs over there that needed doing. Um, turned around a couple of grass fields that I have. That was ready to rock. Got rid of some silage that was there to be sold. Um, created more silage at the grass fields. Fed the animals, bedded the animals down. That sort of shit. And yeah, on, on that farm now, we've kind of done our own fields. It's just contracts to do. Uh, if I want to go back and do it at some point. So we're going to easily complete this one, guys, probably in the next 20 minutes or so. And uh, then we'll have to have a look, see if there's any more fields nearby that require the same equipment. But what we'll do is we won't take too many at once. We'll do, we'll finish this one, and then uh, oh, we'll finish this one, and then we'll pick the next one. do is just stop at the end of this row and go get the truck. I didn't use a trailer, I thought I'd get all the stuff that um, sunflower seeds in here for the, the field. I think the truck's nearly full. Might have to go do an offload. Still a bit of room on the back of it by the looks of it there. There's not much room. One more flow probably. And we're about two thirds of the way across the field. Don't forget, guys, if you're getting bored, we've got the mini games for you to play. There's Exclamation Venn, Exclamation Potato, Exclamation Scramble, Exclamation Trivia. And then um, the trivia will ask you a question and you answer by pressing either one, two, three, or four. Uh, it'll only accept your first answer. Uh, there's also Exclamation Lockbox, and the way you play that is Exclamation Lockbox Space and a five number code. And once you've guessed such a said number, it will tell you whether you're too high of a guess or too low of a guess. 
so it kind of gives you a clue. That being said, let's have a question. Uh, who painted the Starry Night? Picasso, Michelangelo, Da Vinci, or Van Gogh? I have no freaking idea. I'm just going to guess. Also guys, if you're um, looking for the single player pro mods uh, order, uh, I have re-uploaded re them into load orders uh, in the in the trucking thing because I missed a couple of mods in my pictures. Uh, so yeah, I've, I took, took the old pictures down, put some new pictures up uh, which show the mod order if you want to play pro mods in your single player account. If we have to go deliver the product off, guys, we'll, um, we'll of course switch the harvester off to save fuel because it's our harvester. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go up and uh, see where we got to go to deliver. Not sure if there's any uh, sunflower seeds left over. Whether we keep them or not for us, or whether we just get rid of them for extra profit. Three, two, one, turn. There we go. Oh, she's getting really, really dirty. I know that. We only just took her out of the shed. I only took her out of the shed an hour ago, guys. She's dirty already. One of our fields over there has been lined. Looks like it's just been lined, doesn't it? Love looking around. So that's where we came into the field, guys, just there. Oh, there is a road entrance just there. Okay. Need to keep that in mind then. Shut up and dance with me.
Oh. Alright guys, we're still on our uh, tub of gamers bath water. Um, we're still going. There's not much left though. Uh, Extraction Wraith in chat if you want to get your 10% off. Oh. Where did that party part come from? Shut up and dance with me. Cut them all rows. So it looks like maybe if I was to guess, if all of this will fit into that truck now, I'm guessing we'd complete the contract, which means everything here, two rows, three rows, maybe would be all ours. So it's only about four days to the guys meet up. Four or five days. And it's only about mm. 12 days to uh, we get in our, our new car. Can't wait. Cannot wait. I mean, my car, the, the current car, and moved for like, I don't know, five days, six days, maybe. Right, let's get to the end of this row, guys. Even though it's not full, the harvest is not full yet. Uh, we're just going to bring the truck over, see what we can fit in there. Because I have a feeling it's not going to take it all. Right, so let's stop you there. Yeah, I have a feeling this isn't going to take all this. So we may have to jump back in the harvester. Switch it off. Come on, move. Any other time you want. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be full. There we go. All right, let's jump back in the harvester, switch her off, and yeah, go deliver. Right, where are we going before we leave then? Let's um, find, out where we're, find out where we're going. Uh, so, where are we going? Hmm? Are we taking this to us somewhere on our farm? Because I can't see a, can't see a cell, cell point exclamation mark. Oh, it's over there. Okay, cool. Right, okay, so yeah, so we'll go up, right, through a junction, right. So follow the road round through a junction, turn right, follow that all the way to the end, and then do a little right left. Okay, we know where we're going, maybe. Say maybe because you know I'm really really poor at remembering directions. Always have been. Even though I've been a delivery driver, a taxi driver, coach driver, bus driver.
directions is something that I'm very poor at remembering. If it's more than four directions, forget about it. I've forgotten by the time I get to the fourth one. Unless they're really, really close together. And that's got nothing to do with being a granddad. I just can't remember directions. Which is why the day that sat now is for a thing. Yeah. Had one virtually straight away. Right, so this will take us up past the top farm. Which the entrance is just coming up on our right. Do. Get out the road, you silly cow. I oh, know you're on the pavement. It's alright, fine. It's as you were. Right, to the end of this road, take a wiggle across to the right hand side at the staggered crossroads. I have done this journey before, which is why I remember that it's a stack of crossroads and I go, go across. And just follow this up to the delivery point. Wow, oh, wow. That's one thing I've noticed on this map. Those, um, like, I don't know what you call it, half a, half a, half a thingy silo. Oh, it's got the corner pieces on it. For like, um, putting your chaff in and stuff for your silage. So a lot of them around. Didn't even see that ad break coming. Eighty <laughs> percent. Mm. It's going to require a little bit more. This is the funniest bit. You know, I just came all the way around to come up here. I never go back the same way. I don't know. The road back's easier to follow, kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe. Well, oh, better. I think it's right here. No, that's the shop in it. Okay. It's that way then. And then, then right. Do 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 do.
Coloration. So guys, this morning I had a big decision to make. It was either this game or back to SnowRunner. Uh, simply because I can use my controller um, to play SnowRunner and rest my back so I don't have to press the pedals. Uh, but the back feels alright actually this morning. I mean, it's a little sore moving around, but and I'll probably have to get up within the next uh, hour, hour and a half and we'll just start moving around. Loosen it up. Head erection, heart erection. Yeah, to be honest, I've, it wasn't so bad. And then that last couple of jobs where we went through the wiggles, where I had to use the pedals all the time. That's, yeah, that did me. But the drive was awesome. I loved it. Um, the scenery in, in that area. Uh, where were we? We were Bosnia, North Macedonia. Uh, yeah, those, that, that DLC is fucking awesome. Can't see a name. Arona Puna? Aaron Puna? How you doing? Yeah, that kind of, that blue is kind of difficult to read. Yeah, up until those last couple of jobs where we were going through all those wiggles and up through the hills and stuff. I was kind of just using the cruise control and then just before I got the corner I, I'd slow down on the cruise control um, yeah it was all good and yeah um, I think before I come before you came in this morning uh, average I was just, just saying to the guys I went for a little drive on my single player after I sorted out the resorted out the mods and took a picture and whacked them into um, load order chat. Um, in my Tanya, in my, in my Tanya, what's a Tanya? In my Scania TNT 4 Series truck. It's, it's only a little drive. Went from Devon to Wales, uh, went across the Severn Bridge. Um, and yeah, took a couple of pictures, which are in trucking, trucking pics of the T, T Cab 4 Series in VTC colours. Right, we're back. Let's leave you there. Okay, starter up. VCA on. Turn that on. Turn that on. Let's get rolling. Um, you're doing good. That's good to hear. And uh, yeah, thanks for choosing me to watch this morning. Much appreciated, dude. The harvesters in this game are always louder than the than the trackers. Don't know why. They just are. I think they're louder piece of equipment piece of equipment anyways. So don't forget guys, I'm drinking Wraith this morning. X Rage and Wraith that I just put in chat. And in there is my code that you can use for 10% off with every purchase. And you don't have to support me, guys. There's plenty of uh, streamers in the community that have their own Wraith codes and, and other codes that you should probably look into using. And it will benefit you because most of them you get 10% off, 5% off, this and that and the other. Or some codes that are just there to... Um, codes and links are just there to show your appreciation to that particular streamer like um i used to have a code to moza racing and it did nothing for me you using it it just showed that you went through my link to get there i don't have that code anymore i don't have that link anymore i gave it up and for reasons uh but you know miss loopy in our community she has a code to cd keys and it basically does nothing it gives her nothing except bigs are up and allows her to do giveaways the more people the use her link to get to go through cd keys 
Um, Average has got a G Porter code, uh, which you know is a a, a a a company of servers. One of which is this farm. And I don't think your code does anything for you, Average, does it? It just bigs you up with them if people use it. You know, look out for people's codes. All I'm saying is, guys, look out for people's codes. They're there to benefit you. Oh, we get, yeah, the benefit we get is servers to use. Thank you, Average. Uh, game of choice today, is it still... Uh, I'll, I'll get my words out in a minute. Is it still SnowRunner with uh, Mr. H? I'll ask you now before you start thinking about getting your shit together to, uh, to go live. Yes, sir? His map or yours? I'm presuming his map, because he's further behind. Probably his. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. So guys, 11 o'clock right after I finish, guys. Um, we're going to be raiding into the average Viking playing SnowRunner. And yeah, probably on Mr. H's map, which I think he's still on... I want to say still on Michigan, like the last bits of Michigan. He could be on Alaska though. I could be wrong. I gotta admit, the map I'm currently on on SnowRunner is puzzling. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, Windy. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's your new walk on, dude. <laughs> it wouldn't allow me to have the one that I really wanted. <laughs> so I saw I saw one the other day and um Oh, what did it say? It was a guy that came on and said something um in the lines of not in the exact lines is um this is such a good looking thing. Um, I'm going to shag it or something. <laughs> uh, good morning from Central Montana, Silverado. How you doing, dude? Uh, I've seen you quite a lot over with the average Viking. Because, um, of course, I lurk a lot. And yeah, I'm normally in there. If I can and I'm off, I'm normally in there helping out with farming or trucking or some or such. So, yeah. Good morning. How you doing, sir? Um, I'm I'm four seasons behind on Snowrunner. Um, so you you're up to season ten because fourteen just came out. Um, if you're interested in getting more seasons, this is the way I'm going to suggest you look. It seems more expensive, but isn't. Look for the anniversary packs. And through, through, especially if you're buying them through Steam, because what Steam will do is discount the ones you already have. So even though it might say 50 quid or something for the next season, uh, the next year pass, the anniversary year pass, if you've already got two of the seasons on that year pass, it discounts them off. So you won't pay 60 quid, you might pay 20 quid. So, yeah. Just have a look to see what the anniversary packs are, the year packs, before you sort of buy individual seasons. Uh, thank you, Wendy, for your contribution to the uh, to the challenge. So we're on the finishing touches of this field, guys. 
Uh, mate, you get in that target? What, the community challenge target? Um, I tell you what, Wendy, it wasn't that ambitious when I started it. I calculated it for me streaming every day, which obviously yesterday I didn't. And just lately, um, I mean, not today, but just lately I've had up to 20, over 20 viewers for every stream. So what I sort of did, I should have maybe did it for 15. What I sort of did was I went, right, everybody can do 2,000 a day. So 20 times 2,000 a day over the amount of time that I had uh, before I wanted to do the community challenge anyway is X amount. And I brought it down a bit as well. So you, sh if I streamed every day and everybody did 2,000, I should have finished a day before yeah, I kind of hoped that they would have... Uh, I would finish the day before the thing ran out. Maybe it was a bit ambitious. Maybe, you know, I should have set my sights a little bit, little bit smaller. But it was doable, you know what I mean? It was doable. It wasn't out of sight. It was doable. It was just a tiny bit ambitious. The calculations were, were there. The premise behind it probably wasn't. Perhaps with cheese cheese on the other side. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I don't... I mean, mostly, I think most of you think I do things on a whim and don't think about shit. I try, I try and think things out. I never said that, uh, that I just said your math was wrong. Well, kind of wasn't wrong. It was just, like you say, maybe, you know, putting everybody on 2000 points, putting into the, the thick kitty was a bit ambitious. The math was right. It was just a bit ambitious to think that everybody had 2000 channel points to put into that. Maybe I should have done it on just a thousand. But you live and learn. You live and learn. I still might do it. Because I feel that um, I was over ambitious, and yeah, you guys deserve to see it done, kind of thing. Right then, so let's just take this back to this header, back to the thing, um, back to the back to the header trailer, and um, we'll. Uh, We'll hitch up, we'll take that, well, I say we'll take that back to the thing. Let's just see whether, um, let's just see whether there's another field nearby going to the same delivery point. Because that would be a thing. Um, that there? Will that auto snap? I'm guessing this trailer doesn't auto snap. Right, let's just switch you off for a minute. So we were do, we were doing sunflowers delivering to what's his face up there. Okay, so uh, delivering to Chapel Green. So sunflowers to Chapel Green. Oh, that's baling. We need harvesting sunflowers to Chapel Green. Sunflowers to Chapel Green. Thirty one. Yes. Let's accept that in. Um, next time you know over a period of time you will raise around what you have now with us next time the target uh, could be about 40k maybe uh, right 31 can we uh, 
Uh, where are we going? <laughs> windy, it's too flipping early for math this morning. Mm. It's windy. So we don't have to go up to there so so quickly, guys. We can do this. We can do this next field now as well. Um, and we're already here, right? Where's the entrance to the field? Is it down there? Yeah, it's down there. I can see it from here. I think it's just on this bend. Oh, maybe it isn't. Okay, bollocks to. Right, where is it? Oh yeah, it's, it's, it was there. I was just a little bit presumptuous on that it wasn't there. Uh, okay, so boom. Spin around, grab it. Make a little hoe. We'll go get the truck over here. You've been up since 6.30, so you're awake. Holy shit, dude. Right, let's leave that there for a second. Let's go get the truck. Okay, the truck was in there, 20, 29. Now, is there a path out of the hedge this side? If not, we might do an evil Knievel. And I just can't seem to get enough of... Oh no, there is an exit. Yay! a rather weird shaped build this one but we're still whacking I don't know two three headlands and see see what see what's like So if you've been up that long, I'm guessing Daisy's already been out, and you've had ten cups of coffee and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> but guys, in 25 minutes time, if his show's still on schedule, we should have DJ Pat on board with one of the best shows of the week. Awesome 80s. And the other best show of the week is on right afterwards with the Big Top 30 presented by Cool Kid. Because we are listening to Simulator Radio. When I say they're the best shows, they're the best shows that are um, regularly put in the calendar. You know, my shows are pretty good. Windies are on point. Races are on point when he's on. I really must get a, one of those desk clampy things. I feel like I'm reaching for my farm stick a bit. 
but that's in a later purchase. Let's get the car sorted. Let's get new wheels sorted for me. And then we'll think about putting something on the desk to put my joystick closer to me. Make it easy to use. Say make it easy to use, just more comfortable to use if you're if I'm bringing it towards me. I'm back. Welcome back. I didn't even notice you're gone. Where'd you go? <laughs> you don't have to say. Maybe you went off to the toilet, went make coffee, read, read a paper. Oh look, they've got a gazebo in the garden there. Eh? Barbecue! No, don't think food, Matt. Don't think food. Don't think food. Think, uh. Went to the pub. Went, what? Didn't even bring me back a pint. That's, yeah, that's rather... Um, damn. Not for a beer. Damn. Disappointed. I know you don't need to go to the pub, dude, to, um, to drink. You left your phone there last night. See, I don't get that. Really don't get that, how you leave your phone, like an expensive item, like a mobile phone behind. I really don't. I mean, I know it happens, because obviously, if you're comfortable with the pub that you're at, you know, you, you'll put it on the bar or something while you're having a drink and shit. But we, we get it on the buses quite a lot, you know, people leave there mobile phones on, on the seat beside them and you get people ringing up going oh, I lost my mobile, do you know if you found it? Well you know, if it's a brand new one, you're talking about a grand sort of gear that you've just willy nilly left on a seat when I'm out and about, mine never leaves my hand and if it leaves my hand it's in my pocket you know, I don't leave it on tables, even if I'm comfortable with the pub that I'm in, I still don't leave it on the freaking counter or table or whatever, I don't know I think it's just me The only place I've ever left my phone, which you could kind of understand it, is in the car I have a mobile phone holder, like on the dashboard, and it's like a magnetic thing and I just go blonk and it's on. Um, and I sometimes leave it in the car, because I forget to grab it as I get out. I think that's kind of same difference though, just leaving it in the pub or on a bus or so, it's, you're still forgetting it, although it's where I'm leaving it to is mine you know, the place I'm leaving it to is kind of owned by me Yes, guys, if you like what you're seeing, you can always go to my YouTube channel and um, support me uh, by watching the videos for at least 60 seconds, giving them a thumbs up, comment in the commenting on the in the chat, comment in the commenting section, duh, comment in the chat, even if it's just an emoji. Everything you do over there at YouTube really does help a streamer, right? And there's lots and lots of videos over there, not just farming, not just snowboarding, not just trucking. Uh, there's also videos over there where um, I'm, I used to play Forza quite a lot back in my console days. Welsh, good morning sir, how you doing? Welsh yesterday was kind of like my road buddy. Really was, he was right, right, on my, right on my ringer all the time. Yesterday during our Averages Convoy session.
Yeah, it's kind of a weird shape, this field. And I don't know... I think I'm going to need three headlands regardless. Um, and then try for some ups and downs. But I don't know how where to try the ups and downs. Maybe I go straight down the middle of the field. Uh, which is the long access. And then just do one side. And then come back and do the other side. Okay, thank you for your contribution. Morning, dude. How you doing, anyway? Um, glad you got your wheel sorted. And, yeah, hope to see you on the road at some point. With, the, with everybody. Uh, guys, I'm, I know a lot of you have put in for the community challenge. Um, and to be honest, you can still do it. Uh, you're not going to reach the goal, but I'm still going to do it anyways. Um, purely because I kind of admittedly I kind of over guesstimated how many people would could get involved in it not would get involved in it could get involved in it um, I was I was saying this to Winnie about 20 minutes ago I guesstimated on at least 20 of you being in every day um, being able to put two grand in which is the maximum a day So, you know, it was my my fault. I overestimated. So I'm going to do the job anyway. Um, ah, we'll be joining you for most of the trip next Saturday. GG. Thank you very much, dude. Um, you'll need to get yourself over to Kasharni, I think it is, which is the furthest east we can go, with the roads adjoining, with boats and stuff. Kashari, something like that. Anyway. Just while we're close to the truck. To be honest, saying that, I need to get my ass over there as well. Um, I've already been up to um, Nook or Nook in Greenland and put a base up there. Um, just so I can. Because what sometimes what. Um, the TMP job picker will do is if you haven't been there and um, explored it sometimes it doesn't allow you to have a job tool from there so I went up and explored it and just so I could say yep I've been up there um, and I should be able to put a job up there uh, what I will do is sometime during this week I'll just doubly make sure that that's the thing you know that I can make a job all the way to where I knew or where I'm going, which is Nook in Greenland. From is that Iraq or Syria? Um, it's as far east as you can go without going to the into the Great Steppe map, because um, there's sort of a section of the map missing between Middle East and Great Steppe for roads. But yeah, if you want to join me for that, I'll be starting about, I don't know, nice sensible time, about 8 o'clock in the morning maybe. On the Saturday. And it'll take us over as long as it takes. Uh, we're going to stop every so often for 5-10 minutes uh, for bio break. Uh, and then maybe about 3 hours in, 4 hours in, I'll stop for a bite to eat. So that may, might be about 6 or 8 minutes uh, just to go grab myself a bite to eat. And then we'll crack right on. Uh, I'll go by Garrison now. Explore already. Yep, mate. Yeah, explore both ends, Dark Age. Explore both ends. I think the Kashari one, I'm going to have to prepare on the Friday uh, because I don't think there's a garage anywhere near it. There's an F7 sort of close-ish, like within 40 mile, 50 mile of the company that I'm going to start at. 
but not, you know, so I'm, I'll put myself there on the Friday. Oh, I've definitely gone and explored Nook so I can make the job up there. I mean, what I might even do is when I get to uh, the company that I'm going to start at, I'll make the job for the, the, you know, the day after. Yeah, if you message me the company on Friday, it's just, it's it'll be the one. Th I think it's Polar Polar. Is it Polar Polar Fans Polar Windmills or something? It's the fur furthest one east east in Kashari. Polar Mills or something. I'm guessing it's a a windmill power plant. Found it, it's in Georgia. There you go. There you go. So guys, we're going to give Dark Age Gamer a shout out. Um, yeah, he does stream a bit. And yeah, he supports uh, us as streamers in a very unique way. And I'm, I'm very thankful for it because, yeah, just lately he's raided my Steam account. And basically I now have all the DLCs for um, SnowRunner. Um, yeah. Although somebody bought me, um, Among Us, I've never played it. Um, and to be honest, there was a few too many people in Norfolk Stevie. Thank you very much for lights off. There's a few too many people in the other night, um, when Average was doing his 4K stream, uh, for me to join and try and suss things out. Um, even though he'll say there wasn't. Uh, for me, there was. I like to go into a game and at least know what I'm doing before I sort of go in big time multiplayer. I don't know what it is. I just, I just do. Am I well driver? Um, yeah, kind of. Um, so yesterday, my sciatic nerve went on me back. Um, seems sort sort of okay today. It's it's starting to ache a little bit, but it'll be alright. Um, I've been off for uh, four weeks now with a frozen shoulder. Um, I've had the cortisone injection, and it is I'm getting mobility back in it. It's not quite enough to go back to work though. Uh, I've got another two weeks off, so yeah, windy. I'm I'm sick now still, uh, which means they've had to uh, give me back my two weeks holiday. So one week of it, what I'm going to do is stick it right on Llama Week. And hopefully, um, I don't know, maybe something could happen and I can get the Llama. And so I'll, see, I'll maybe see some of you at Llama. I mean, I've booked everything. I've booked the, the free ticket to go to Llama. I've booked the, um, the meet, meet and greet afterwards, um, the Giants one. So hopefully I can get there. Excellent. What way is the canteen? That way. Sorry, that way. <laughs> I forget how many things I've done now. Is that... Uh, one, two... That's three. That's three. Okay. Uh, the only company in Kashori I see is Vitas Power. Is that the one... Uh, the road kind of goes like that. And there's a little road that comes off the, that half a circle and goes up to the company. Is that the one? If that, if it is, that's the one I'm thinking about. Oh shit! I wasn't going to do that that way, was I? Um. Right, let's do this freehand. Turn it off a minute. 
and we'll go down it. We'll just pop down the middle. We'll get this line down, we'll pop down the middle. Um I will go discover it, it, it as nearest F7 garage or garage is 80 mile away. Yeah, yeah. I said it was far, quite far. There's a hang, hang on. There's a garage nearby. I'll go. I'll go buy that one later, and then I'll go discover it. Um, and the further, the th here's the thing: the fr the closest company, or the furthest company west in Nook, is right beside the boat. Sent you your pit DM. Two seconds, guys. Do 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 do. Yeah, that's it. Vitas power. That's the one. That's the start point. Uh, yeah, pick whatever trailer you want. Uh, on the day. Um, I'm going to pick a challenging trailer. That's all I'm going to say. And on the on the day that I start the run, um, you guys will pick how many times I hit random cargo. Not do. Yeah. So yeah, you guys can pick how many times I hit random cargo. And yeah, what I'll probably pick, guys, is the, um, the well, depending if I get it, depending if I can get the new DOC uh, for the trailer that Average had yesterday. Um, if I can get that one, then I'll I'll use that one. Uh, if not, I'll just use the little boy trailer that I have. Um, nearest barber garage is 80 60 mile away. Yeah, so if that's closer than the F7. Then, yeah, maybe we start from there, go up to the job, grab the job. I don't know. I'm, I haven't decided which way we're going to do it, but I am still going to do the community challenge, guys. Like I said, I did miscalculate how many you could get involved, um, so I feel kind of obligated to do the challenge anyways, regardless if we get there or not, or you guys get there or not. So yeah, guys, next Saturday, massive convoy miles. Um, I'm going to only do it doing 656 max. And the reason being is I don't want to waste those miles. Fine boy Q, how are you doing, sir? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, I don't want to waste those miles. It is going to be a long, long way. So yeah, I'll be maxing out 56. Thank you, Average. And guys, a shout out for Farm Boy Q. Why do I give much Farm Boy Q a shout out? Not only is he awesome, he does allow you to do shit in his stream that no sane person would ever, ever allow you to do in another person's stream. Um, so the things you can do in his stream. You can make him turn round and round and round and round for 10 seconds. It's fun. You can make him drop his implement. So say if he's using a telehandler with a bucket or such on, you can make him just drop it in the middle of nowhere. It, that, that's very fun. I've done that myself. Uh, you can make him drop his load anywhere, which has happened quite a lot. I mean, the time that I made him drop his bucket, somebody about five minutes before told him to drop his load in the middle of the street, and he was trying to pick it up. And I made him drop his bucket in his trailer. <laughs> so he can get it back out. Cruel, but it was funny. Um, you can also make him, if you've got enough channel points, guys, OF4 him out of the game. Yeah, that's cruel, but yeah, it's it's a thing. Um, but like I say, guys, I like all of us. It's a bit stressful when it happens, but it's all done in fun. We know it's all done in fun. And if we didn't want you to press the buttons, guys, we wouldn't have it as a redeem. You know, it's all there for you guys to have fun with, get more interactive with us as streamers. And yeah. We hope that you guys continue to do so. <laughs> Thank you, Dark Age. You know you don't need to, but I know you will anyway. I 
I do need to send Mrs. Handy a message about something that she messaged me the other day. Thanks, Welsh. And hopefully, um, yeah. As good morning, how you doing, bro? Um, oh, it's your chill day today, isn't it? So you off taking, walking and taking pics today, is it? That's what normally happens on a Sunday, I believe. Uh, yeah, none too bad. Uh, not sure yet. Uh, deciding possibly going to Peterborough to do some window shopping. Ooh. Double or triple glazing, sir. You got some pennies since Twitch paid you yesterday. Yeah, Twitch paid me too. Um, which, to be honest, I haven't sorted out yet, but um, I'm going to do it anyway. Let me get my page up. To put you up there uh there do, 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 do. i do have about 60 pounds worth of steam key games to give away and if you have a steam account um i will gift you something else as well um let me just get the page up where the fuck is it there it is that's that that's that right let me pull page that a second it's like it takes a right, yeah that's right that's right that's right all them are on do, 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 do. okay guys i do this once a month whenever i get paid from twitch um and there's 29 of you lovely people in so yeah exclamation mad in chat for your chance to win about sixty pounds worth of Steam code games, plus if you've got a Steam account, an extra bonus. I don't know what the extra bonus is, but I will. I'll figure that out. What I'll probably do is if you've got like a DLC for something that you want under a certain amount, I'll probably just buy that for you. Like I say, if you've got a Steam account already and such stuff on your wish list. Look at you lovely people getting involved. Great to see, guys. Great to see. Um, I can tell you now there's already within three minutes or less than three minutes, ten of you beautiful people involved. Uh, it'll be drawn before the end of stream, guys, and you must be here to collect. Good thing. Uh, Fung's Funk. I'm still in the truck. Duh. Guys, DJ Pat is currently live on the radio. Uh, exclamation SR dash request if you want to request something. Again, must be 80s. This is my favourite show of the week, guys, because I call myself an 80s child. Why isn't that on? I call myself an 80s child even though I was born late 70s. It's kind of the first music that I rem remember as a kid. Um, so, yeah. And he's starting with a bit of feel. Um, Sassy Sapphire UK, thank you for your follow. Welcome into the funhouse. How are we doing? So guys, if you have a Steam account, there is a giveaway going for uh, some game keys that total about £60. Uh, and possibly, um, I say possibly, there will be a mystery gift as well. Uh, I'm John Doyak now. Oh, I see it now. I'm John Don't You Know. Okay, okay. I got you now. 
Hi, 80s baby here. <laughs> There's a lot of us. <laughs> and like I say, guys, exclamation SR dash request. Follow my title and artist must be an 80s song. And came out, came out in the UK because um, DJ Pat is from the UK. Ooh, if he has it. Uh, I only started to play Farm Sim 22 last week, but you're loving it. Ooh. 1987? Okay. So you may or may not know that Farm Sim 25 is out in a month. I've already pre-ordered my copy. Um... In the SOAG community, um, so x and SOAG in chat, uh, the SOAG Discord community, um, somewhere in there, I don't know where it is exactly, but there is a list of uh, partner streamers for Giants for their codes for you to be able to purchase your copy of Farmstone 25. Uh, you saw the tornadoes and whacked it on your wish list. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. I mean, Average does a fact sheet Friday, every Friday, obviously. Um, PC digital download only on Giants. There you go. That's coming from one Giants partner. Whoa, she seems there. So guys, we'll be doing the draw about, if you want to time, about quarter to 11. Uh, simply because we've had it before where people aren't here. We've had to redraw it. It might take five minutes or so. And like I say, you must be here. You'll be given 60 seconds to answer the winning draw. And if you're not, don't answer within 60 seconds, we draw the next person. Uh, well, the company and streets are interesting ones. That's why we're going west, east to west, dude. The last time we did it, I think Windy was with me most of the journey. Um, he's not going to be with me this journey because I know he's meeting up with the guys um, up at the meetup. So, Matt, is Steam credit or games worth 60 quid? The games itself are worth 60 quid. If you have a Steam account, I will check your wish list, the winner's wish list, for DLCs, and I m maybe purchase one of them for you as well. I say maybe I will purchase one of them. So if like if you need, say, I don't know, an ETS DLC or an ATS DLC and it's on your wish list, or I don't know, maybe a Generation Zero DLC, I'll purchase one of that. You remember that trip? That was a good one, wasn't it, dude? I mean when we got wet east, there was a lot of toes and a lot of passport controls. But what a great bit of the map that was. Uh, buy game, oh my god, Giants website and support Giants partners. That's only if you want to. Crofty, good morning, how you doing lady? I'm sure somebody will give you a shout out at some point. Guys, she's back. The last two days she's been streaming and it's been an absolute pleasure to be sat lurking in your streams, lady. Doing amazing? That's good. There it is. Yeah, muff love, lady, muff love. So I'll explain her calling me barefoot, shall I? I mean, some of you find this maybe disgusting, some of you, yeah, not so much. Um, but when I use my wheel and pedals at home, I don't wear anything. 
on my feet, obviously. Um, I like the feel of the pedals as they are. I don't know why. It's just a thing. More sensitivity. They feel we weird when I got my shoes on. So, yeah. I occasionally wear socks if it's cold. But a lot of the time, if it's warm enough, I've, yeah, nothing. Um, I'm saying can't wear shoes with pedals, hate the feeling. Well, the thing is, a lot of your pedals, um, unless you've bought a very expensive pedal kit for your computer, a lot of the pedals are kind of light feeling, so wearing shoes on them just makes the pedal drop a lot faster. Um, so yeah, I kind of like the sensitivity of just maybe my, my feet or just wear socks or something. Um, yeah. Uh, so guys, during the week, I might do a single player convoy on ETS just so I can use my TNT4 series TCAB Scania. Uh, the code field of the metal. Yeah, that's what I mean. If it's warm enough, I'll wear nothing. If it's little cold, I'll, I'll just wear my socks. You can't wear shoes either, feels wrong. There you go. See, there's a lot of people in the same situation, in the, in the same th same field as me. Can't wear shoes while you're playing with the gaming pedals. Thanks for the clip, minute. I'll check that afterwards, dude. Everybody, Sam uh, How's everybody in chat this morning? How are we feeling, chat? We feeling the love? Boys, boys, boys. Is Minute in chat? Yes, he is. Mistletoes. Yeah. Mm hmm. Kind of not funny. Don't say I ain't got a sense of humour if you're finding that funny. I do have a sense of humour. That just wasn't funny. Guys, it's going to be an ad in kind of three minutes, but don't go anywhere, it's only for a minute. Uh, Could cool, tell him 11, 11.15, 11.30ish. Minute 11.15, 11.30ish. That way I don't have to close the app down. Okay, no worries. <laughs> whatever, whatever she's on about, mate. 11.15, 11.30ish, I'm guessing she's coming over or something. Picking you up or such. There you go. There's an answer already. It's Derby Day. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're going footy. Okay, gotcha. Summertime love, you always been by me. Everybody's summertime love. 
I'm guessing this is local teams, right? Because um, isn't the Premiership still on international duties? <laughs> Only just got up and suddenly remembered it. <laughs> that I need to pick you up. <laughs> oh, the ladies' teams. <laughs> Crofty, it's you. I didn't think it was male teams. No, you won't. There's no way you look at any man's going and thinking, I'll let him hide the sausage. Not a chance. Well, I don't know, maybe you do, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, turn it off. Wow, burst my bubble barefoot. You got a rep to hold up? What rep? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we might have to do an empty out here. Ninety-three percent. Should we do an empty out now? How much we got left? Can we get that in? That's not going to get in, is it? Let's do an empty out. Hang on, whoa, 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 whoa. Before we do the empty out, turn off the harvester. Save fuel. Let's go. Right, so we... Is this the way out? Yeah, this is the way out. No, that's not the way out. The way out's over here. It's not here, but we'll, we'll sneak out of there. Right, so we need to go over that way. So guys, most of the buttons I be, I'm using today, I'm not just using the farm stick, I'm using the Icon City Go package buttons and I can tell you now. If I didn't have the Thrustmaster farm stick, I could just do all everything that I'm doing from the Go package from Icon City using a stream deck, loop deck uh, and such. It, they are amazing people. And on checkout, if you use my code or your favorite streamer's code, Again, 10% off. I am totally lost. Crofty, you pick it and I'll be there. So guys, you have less than 30 minutes to go before we do the draw for a number of Steam game code keys worth over £60. Plus, if you have a Steam account, I will look at your wish list and there may be a surprise there waiting for you next time you go online. Definitely late. I have to go, I have to go <laughs> first. <laughs> yes.
I can tell you now there is 12 of you lovely people in the draw. Morning, Mystic. How you doing, dude? Oh, look out. Mystic has heard the word free. <laughs> There's a chance of winning free shit. I can get my name in there. Right, gonna learn. Need to go dress and sort the car out. Yeah, take the ba put the baby seat in for a minute. <laughs> Balls. I don't know what I, I don't want to know what you feel in the morning, dude. Chicken balls. Well, Missick is Welsh, so it could be sheep. Just saying. But technically, it's not sheep, is it? It's a ram. <laughs> You're not Welsh? Could have fooled me. I thought somebody said you're a Welsh. I forget who it was, but hey. Lady Chucky, how you doing? I'm Welsh, are my guys? Thank you very much. Well, you. I mean, I'm. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. guys, 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 guys. Mystic, how many years have you lived in Wales? If it's more than 10, you're now Welsh. Okay? Doesn't matter if you're born in England. If you've been living there now more than 10 years, you are Welsh. I'm good, Chucky. And the other day when I helped you out with SnowRunner, that was an absolute blast. I enjoyed myself. And having Dark Age Gamer in, not Dark Age Gamer, having Dark Star in that in made it even more fun. Once again, guys, in 25-ish um, minutes' time, we're going to do uh, the draw. So, exclamation mad in chat for your chance to win. Uh, I did check to see how much these games were worth, and it's about £60 worth of Steam key games. Uh, plus, if you have a Steam account, I'm going to raid your wish list. So, yeah, don't forget to drop me a message if you win, telling me your Steam account name so I don't get it wrong. And 13 of you beautiful bastards are in there. I'd like to say, guys, with your help, we do these giveaways once a month. Um, if I get a payout, no matter how small or large it is, um, obviously there's a default amount which Twitch likes to put on us for a payout. And if I get over that, then I give you, I don't know, like 10% of it kind of thing. Plus any games that I don't want that I win off of everybody else. And I give you all of them. So if I win one game during the month off of other people I give you that game if I win 10 games off of other people you get all 10 and I checked one of these games that I won I think was £45 but I looked into it I read the description and I'll never play it
So don't forget guys, exclamation mad in chat, you have to be here at quarter to the hour for the draw. Because you never know, the person that may be picked out first time might not be here and we might have to do the draw a couple of three times. I mean, I have seen up to, um, I think it was average, did it about five times one day when he was trying to give something away. And of course it all takes time because you, you the, do the draw, you give it a minute, you do the draw, you give it a minute, and it all takes time. And then of course we're going to raid into the average Viking who today is playing SnowRunner. Uh, possibly on Mr. H's map. I'm not sure if they got a full squad yet. Maybe they do with Mr. H, Mrs. H. Maybe Windy. Maybe they got a full team already. But if they don't, guys, and you are low um, experience rating in the game, go get involved. Because the more they complete, and the more you help out and complete, you get XP as well. Not just them. Everybody, everybody gets the XP that it says for the completion. And you all get the money as well. Well done, Chucky. Chucky's in the draw. And guys, I can tell you now, Chucky has won my draws at least twice. I mean, we're all, we, we talk about Mrs. Handy being lucky when it comes to my draws. Or when it comes to draws in general. Yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, Chucky has won twice. When I do a draw. I think I had to go down there. We'll just skip through tw uh, 29. There was a way through there, wasn't there? Right, let's skip through this bit. Because um, I know there's an entrance just to my left coming up, so I can skip through the field. Oh no, we'll just use, use, use this. This is this weird. Wacky, good evening, sir. Oh, bit of, bit of a save lag there. Okay, so which way are you going? Uh, you're going down. Okay. Not sure whether this will be in the right place or not, but that'll do. We might finish this just in time today. So after we do this field, guys, what we'll do is uh, we'll take the harvester back, wash it, um, then we'll come back for the truck, deliver it, and hopefully finish bang on time. I might have to take a small bio break, guys, in a few seconds time. Uh, so what I'm going to do is make the turn here. Slow that right, right down. Come on, right down, 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 right down. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. There you go, two more now, that'll do. Right, I'll be back. Two seconds.
I'm back. Kev, good morning. How you doing, buddy? I'm going to speed this booger up in a minute. As I get my ears back on. Ah, uh, right then. There we go. Uh, you good? How am I? I'm good, Kev. So guys, if you don't know who Kev is, Kev streams a bit and he also um, helps me out with my SnowRunner. I mean, I, I know a lot about SnowRunner. Um, Kev knows that a little bit more. Like ways to go on the maps that I haven't done yet. Wow, a lot of people liking Kev, look. That's three shout outs. GG's. <laughs> uh, there's also 15 of you in for the draw for the steam keys giveaway and like i say they total about 60 pound and for the winner please send me your steam account and i will go and see if there's any docs or such that i can afford to buy you as well oh what happened to dj pat there he goes, back. <laughs> Oops, double shout out, no worries. Kev's, Kev's a good, Kev's, Kev's good people. Guys, Kev's good people. And like I say, if you need help with SnowRunner, he's very helpful to have around. Kev is on your map last night with you. And how many things did he get done before you even thought about getting something, one thing done? That it happened to me when I was first started playing it. When I first started playing it, there was a guy that used to come into my streams. Um, in on Twitch, his name was uh, Runs Like Poo, but in the game he was called Killer Coronic. Um, yeah, he used to come in and help me out, and like every one thing I do, he'd do five. Now. Some of you go, well, that's that's kind of poor odds, you know. You do one thing, he does five, and it's your map. You have to think about that first. When you first start playing SnowRunner, you have a shit truck. He has decent trucks, and which is why I like going back to the earlier maps and helping people now. Because now I have good trucks, and, you know, I like to help out people with the bad trucks. Um, even if it's lending my truck, I mean yesterday Trekkie has her own truck or the other day Trekkie, Trekkie has her own truck um, she's got the Atom thanks to Mrs Handy um, but it's not upgraded she doesn't have the upgrades for it yet uh, because her levels are not there um, so I lent her mine because obviously a fully upgraded truck is you know in most cases is better than an, a truck with no upgrades on even though the Atom is pretty decent without mods I gotta admit um, but yeah Dark Star, good morning, bro. How you doing, dude? I also helped did 2.5 missions. 2.5. And rescued a cute wee lass uh, from a rollover. I, I tell you, I, I tell you, I've never ha seen somebody in a stream have so much fun rolling over as Chucky the other day. So what happened was, I'll go back if you didn't watch Chucky stream the other day. Uh, she was doing this thing for um, to pull a scout trailer. So I lent her my truck, my, my little scout vehicle. And she had so much fun in it. I've never seen somebody giggle and make so many whoop noises in my life driving this thing. Um, yeah, I lent her my little Jeep um, off-road vehicle and she, yeah the amount of noises that was coming out of her mic was unfucking real while she was driving it it was a load of whoops and yips and whoops and yips and yeah and roll. <laughs> yeah it's kind of shit <laughs> you get the idea
and talk to shit on the game. I've never seen somebody talk to it. I mean, I talk to the like I I talk to my truck on the game. I go, come on, dude, get out of that hill, boom, 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 come on, you can do it, you can do it. Never seen anybody talk to so many things on the map as Chucky. She was talking to trees and flowers and the river and mud and <laughs> it was hilarious. It really was. Yep, yeah, Windy Hope 2 and Mrs. H. She had a good gaggle of people with you. Yeah, a good bunch of people. Yes. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. I, I dread to watch. You dread to watch it? I'll watch it back, Chucky. It was fun. It was really, really fun. Uh, when you used my little Jeep to go do those, do that mission. I mean, you look, it's, you know, just the sound of it and watching you on stream while I was there. You look like you were having a laugh. And a giggle. Yeah, as as is right. Always watch your streams back because you pick up lots of different things which you yourself go. You know, I mean, you know, I could have done that better. This and that, and the other to do your streams, especially quality wise, uh, sound quality wise, picture quality wise. Uh, you know, stuff that happens on the fly, like Chucky, like what happened to Chucky the other day. You can't, you can't practice that. That was just hilarious. She was just, I don't know wearing her heart on her sleeve shall we say and you're letting it all out not to mention she can clip yeah it's clips she can have that's quite right i need to learn how to do that as go back and watch my streams and uh the funny bits that people have missed learn how to clip them put them put them to the clip reel one thing I, i'm not i'm not good at uh, need to shoot off, man. Gotta change uh, Cersei's monitor before we head out. You guys have a good day, um, and hope all, and hope your team wins. Yeah, stay safe. You, you know, you're picking up a minute. We've seen him drive. Oh no, you're driving. It's fine. <laughs> and it's like, fuck are you, you dick. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Uh, going back after the fact that it's pretty easy, especially with the new clip editor, I tend to use uh, the stream markers a lot and go through the clip highlights. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing I need to learn how to do. Put, you know, put down a marker close to where I think the funny bit is and stuff. Yeah, I Currently, I don't do that at all. I mean, I did go through my Steam clips yesterday. Um, there was a lot in there that either were clipped too late and the funny bit had gone or clipped too far afterwards um so you didn't kind of see what happened for the funny bit to happen so I, I, there was a lot that was deleted just had a button and streamed it yeah 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 I need, I need to do that i just need to remember to do it <laughs> right let's take this back to the farm guys um and wash it put it away um the yeah, downside is i think this goes to the lower farm Uh, and or, uh, as always, you and anyone, if you need help, DM. Thanks, as It's good to know, dude. This might be bang on time. We'll take this back to the farm. We'll wash it. Um, yeah, we'll take this back to the farm. We'll wash it. We'll put it away. Then we'll jump in the lorry and drop that off. Wash it and put it away. And then we should be bang on time to um, do the draw. Thank you, Chucky. Don't forget, guys, the Lights Disco also has a on-screen thing now. I put that on brand new. This is 
been on that. Yeah. I don't know why that clip has a little bit of lag in it, but it does. But hey. Yeah, see? So if you're anything on the radio that sounds groovy and you need some disco lights involved, there you go. You had visuals as well as me getting a disco light show in my eyes. I don't want to ask to have this question because I know he's setting up the stream. Um, but I think I've got no choice unless Mr. or Mrs. Handy's, uh, Mr. Handy's back. Um, is there a hose pipe down lower farm? I'm sure there is, but sod it. I'll just go higher farm, wash it, and then take it down to lower farm. It's easier. But guys, five minutes left, and then I'm going to do the draw uh, for, what, how many is it? Three Steam Keys worth over £60, plus I'm going to raid your wish list and, say, buy your DOC for something. Uh, there's one at both farms, sure. Yeah, no worries. Thanks, Chucky. I thought there might be. Mrs. Mr. Handy, when he sets shit up like that, is not stupid by any beats of the imagination. And it's a great farm manager, guys. We're, we're sort of blessed to have him. I mean, Avery says it a lot, um, that he's blessed to have him on the farm with him. And we are. We're blessed to have him. He, keep things, he keeps things really, really um, balanced. Which is why, I'll say this out now, which is why the other day when I was in one of Tab's giveaways for Farm Sim 25, because I've already sorted myself out, I know Mr. Handy has to buy two copies for him and Mrs. Handy. And if I'd have won, I was going to gift my copy to, or that copy to him. Because he is good people's. I'll just use the one up top and then I'll go across. You've got yours? Yeah, I sorted mine out as well, Kenny. Bought mine last month. No, I didn't want to do that. Um... I could have had a copy, but I went for poo. <laughs> yeah, if you missed the draw, you missed the draw, D. <laughs> That's what happened. I don't know why, but when I wash stuff, I like to pretend I'm actually washing it. I don't know. Um. Yeah, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Just the same as a minute ago, I had to go, even though there's like 30 minutes of my show left. You know, like I said, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Mm -hmm. Lean beef. That's a good one, I like that one. That was, that's your best attempt so far, dude. Well, that's where those have gone, is it? Atriana, good morning, lady. How you doing? How you doing? And guys, she gets an automatic shout out. Why? Because she's a wonderful person. And yeah, I was wasn't lazy enough to not give her a shout out, uh, a walking shout out. I just haven't got a visual one in mind yet hmm. right then where's the shed to put this in I think it's over to my right about now hmm. 
over there. Are you doing a me to you, Chucky? Mm-hmm. Same as I did to you the other day. It's over there. Oh, I know it. I deserved it too. I do like that trailer. That's a lot better than... Uh, it's a lot better than the dolly trailers to try and figure out. Right, let's close that up before we put you away. Matt, let's try steering this properly. That would be a fucking good idea. There we go. Whoosh. Guys, you've got two minutes to get involved in the draw. Exclamation mad in chat for your chance to win. £60 worth of Steam games via codes that I have. Just subscribe to me on YouTube. Thank you very much, my dude. And me reading your, your wish list. Kenny's in the draw. That's 17 of you in the draw, guys. Absolutely wonderful to see. Right, we'll probably get this... Right, what we'll do, guys, we'll get this up to the delivery point, so you've got to wait two minutes. Draw what draw? I've got... Every month, what I do is, if I win Steam Key game codes, I save them, if I don't want to use them, for my own giveaways. I know it's a bit weird, but yeah. Um, also, I like to give something for myself, from myself. So what I normally do is give a Steam Wallet voucher. This month, what I've decided to do is just raid your Steam wish list if you win. So, if you win, guys, send me your Steam account name so that I can see your wish list. That doesn't mean I'm going to spend 50 quid or 60 quid. I'm going to just spot something that is there for me to buy and buy it for you if you win. If I win the games, will I will I go to my stepson? Mm-hmm. And you'll have to give me your stepson's Steam account name so that I can do my extra bit. You already know mine? Yeah, it's Kenny. <laughs> it's the same as your screen name. So guys, you got the time it takes me to get to the offload, and then we're gonna pull the draw down. I say pull the draw down because it's up there on my fourth monitor. Yeah, not bad. Uh, just prepping for this afternoon. Oh, yeah. What are you guys playing this afternoon? Because you finished that bar tavern thing, haven't you? Yeah, no worries, dude. Like I say, you don't, you don't need to bother him unless you win. Morty and I finished the hours and toes. Well, you helped. You know. So we're playing Valheim. Ooh. Whoa, here she comes. She's a man eater. Whoa, here she comes. Watch out, boy, she'll chew you up. Uh, so while there's so many of you here, guys, waiting for me to do the draw, next Saturday, or this Saturday coming, when all the guys are meeting up and I can't make it, because we have other obligations with the, uh, the money, um, I will be doing the community event, regardless whether it's full or not, um, because I kind of fucked up with the predictions of what you guys could do and what you guys couldn't do. Um, so I'm going to do it anyway. Um, so yeah, that stream's going to take me about eight hours. So yeah, there'll be little breaks here and there. Um, if you want to, you can just pick a job from where you are to where you want to go along the journey. And yeah, come and go as much as you guys please. But I should be doing it in one job. Like I say, it might take me about eight hours. Vox, good morning, sir. How are you?
And right after we finish today, of course, we'll be reading into the average Viking who will be snow running. Right, let's get this offloaded, switch engine off, and we shall do the draw. Uh, all good, just finished up uh, a Sunday fry up. GG's. Right then. Yeah, so here's my giveaway tool, guys. Um, excluded? Why, is, why are you excluded? Why are you excluded? Oh, clear that. Now you're not excluded. <laughs> uh, good luck, everybody. Yes, indeed. Right then, guys, last chance, 30 seconds. There's some of you that might not have got involved. XH from Alan chat. Like I say, three ST keys totaling about 60 quid um, of games that I won't play. Um, yeah. Oh, look out. Mrs. Handy's involved. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Let's spin it. No, no. 60 seconds. Do -do. It's me. He's there. Guys, thank you very much for taking part. Mystic, I will send those codes over to you um, a little later on. Um, you're in our Discord, aren't you? And Gigi's Discord, uh, Gigi's Discord, Gigi's Mystic. We take the piss out of Mystic, but he's good people's guys. And yeah, I should be raiding your Steam account for, I don't know, maybe a DLC or something that you haven't got yet or something. Um, but yeah, so yeah, send me, send me your Steam account name and we shall raid it, raid it. Right, let's take this back to the farm, guys, and wash it. And then, yeah, it should be enough for me to raid out into the average Viking. Uh, no problem, Matt. Yes, in tabs. Sweet. Is your Steam account name the same as your... Yes, cool. So it's Mystic Smiler and Steam as well. Sweet. GG's peoples. And congratulations, Smiler. Uh, like I say, there should be maybe one game in there out of a lot that you will enjoy. And like I say, guys, if I get a payout from Steam once a month, well, if I get the payout from Steam on the month, then I do a giveaway. Uh, and like I say, Normally, it's the keys that I've won off of other people, plus something from me uh, to support you guys, because you guys have given me, so it's a good way for me to give back to you guys. Um, and yeah. Uh, Paul Kylie, Paul Kyle, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Fun House. How are you doing? So we're heading back to the farm, guys. Ultra Major Fizzy, how are you doing, bro? Hope you're well. Um, guys, we haven't seen Fizzy for a little while. And it's because him and a few guys are making their own 5M server. So him with a few other guys are um, really involved in that. He's spending a lot of time getting all the rules in place, and all the mods in place that he wants they, they want to see. Uh, and yeah, he'll be back streaming soon, guys. He's had a shout out. Go and give him a follow. 
And yeah, if you're interested in 5M or trucking or farming, he does it all, guys. Go over and check him out. Told you about muffed and Ivan on your girlfriend. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, wow, mate, I've been feeling rough the last four days. Ah, shit, man. I can certainly, uh, I can certainly feel you on that one, my dude. And you may think, guys, that this truck's pretty clean, but it's a thing on this farm that once you finish with any contract, you clean regardless. So main rules on this farm, guys, is A, you use our vehicles for contracts, contract work. B, you finish what you start unless obviously you have to go in emergency style, in which case you leave a message in the farming chat. Uh, to say I've had to do this job and I had to leave uh, but for the most part if you're on doing a job and you have the time then you finish said job I thought it was that no it's okay it's the next thing and it's Chucky's just put in chat guys that's the way to join the community farm Kevlar good morning Kevlar So there's another truck out somewhere with a, I presume, with a trailer. Because there's a trailer missing and then the other truck's missing. But anyways. So this is our trailer garage. You may notice a pattern. We, we like the case. This is a good tractor, guys. This case 2750. Uh, 7250. It's a good tractor. And period correct for the farm, which is why we've got so many of them. <laughs> that's the, that's one of the troubles that we found, guys, is finding good mods to use for pre-2000s. Um, and which is why we had to use so many mods, because we wanted to use period correct stuff. Oh, the um, silage pit's been opened. Who the fuck's Lassie? I tell you what is good. I like using these. They take their time, though. These harvesters, these root harvesters, I love using these. Um, so in the last three weeks or so, I must have spent about 20-ish hours in one of these. Um, yeah. Great, great. The Dominator line is a great re pre 2000 range are fine yeah so these things are fun to use i call these the turtle harvesters because when you're inside them it kind of looks like a turtle so if we jump inside uh, look, from the back it kind of looks like a tortoise <laughs> oh, I was, oh and i'm outside oh i'm up near the silage pits it's um no See if we can get to the lower farm to show you what's down there. <laughs> the 18. Uh, this is the higher farm as well. Right, guys. Um, uh, let's look to see whether Average is live or not yet, because that's why we're wasting time. Um, not quite yet. We're going to chat shit for a couple of minutes. <laughs> And then we're going to send you over to the average Viking guys who today will be playing SnowRunner. Uh, not sure whether if it's his map or Mr. Handy's map. Um, possibly Mr. Handy's map because he's a little bit further behind um, everybody else. Well, not everybody else, but the likes of me, average, uh, Kev for definite. He's now live. He's not on my boot on yet. Woohoo, SnowRunner! 
Right, guys, we're going to put you on that screen there. And thanks to Dark Star Simulation for my transition. Uh, yeah, I fucking awesome that was. Catch you later, mate. Right, let's see if he's live now on my buttons. Yes, he is. Right. Guys, we're going to go to the average Viking. Uh, go use my radar moats on entry. Smile, I'll sort you out in a tick, my buddy. Um, but right now, guys, you have a lovely Sunday. And yeah, go and enjoy yourself over at the average Viking. Here's my radar moats. Go use them on entry and have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Bye.